Hello, this is Melanie from Growing My Own. I just harvested some of these broccoli leaves last week. And I'm here to clear it out again because they're all grown up. Some of them is like right up to my waist. So I'm gonna get rid of some of them again to make some air get into this garden. And look, this is my third broccoli. And I'm gonna harvest it too. So it's usual I walk with my container of water because I don't always go back inside right away. And if I don't keep them in water, they're gonna start to quail up before I finally get inside to look after them. So this is a way of keeping them fresh. Yes, I already start saving my kale leaves, my broccoli leaves, and some cauliflower leaves. I'm not getting anything from the cauliflower. But I'm getting lots of leaves from the broccoli and they're huge. I'm gonna take my broccoli too. Come back here. This is larger than the first one. Yeah, and those that I cut last time, they have some little baby off shoot coming up. And I'm glad for that extra broccoli. These are some of the side shoot coming off. The broccoli is already harvested. And there's another one here. So I'm gonna, oh, this is a new one coming on this broccoli plant. So I'm gonna put it in pause for now and finish harvesting this side. These are the first sets of onions I plant from the kitchen and they're starting to bulb up. Here's another one. Getting nice and round. This one I'm gonna get two out of that. And the other one over there is getting round up as well. So those are the first sets of onion I planted from the kitchen. And this is how the broccoli bed look now with lots of space in it. And I know by next week it's gonna be filled in again. And over here, this tree is growing out of control too. It's not producing anything. I don't know, maybe this was supposed to be a cauliflower. But the leaves are just humongous. So I'm going to take some of these to keep covering up some carrots and onion. This one is not good. This one is kind of too old. Let's see if I don't get any cauliflower from it. At least I can use the leaves. Yeah, too much stuff planting here. They're covering it up. This one bird pawn it. I need to ask over there. Yeah, so. This here is kind of lighting up now. I'm going to try planting. um cauliflower in the fall I was doing some research today when to start sowing the seeds so between now and the end of the month I'm gonna start 
sowing some brassica seeds for the fall. So if I have better luck with the cauliflower next time. Yeah, and cabbage. My cabbage is not doing well this year. Last year I had a lots of carrot cabbages. This year I only have like two that's doing well. This one and another one in the other bed. And this is my carrot bed. What the squirrel didn't dig out. So these are doing good. These are the last sets of onion I planted. They're all over. And my peppers are doing well. Yeah, these are some of the last sets of onion. And finally, my zinnia start to bloom. I have three flowers. And my one and only garlic is still hanging in there. I have one more leaf to dry. Yeah. And the last, um, a couple of days ago, I came out and harvest my first bunch of kalalo in the morning. And I left it on the side of one of the planter. I went inside and forget all about it. When I came to water in the evening, <laughs> I saw it all dried up. And that was my first harvest of Kalalu. These are some of the turnip I transplanted. And look at these onions. They're getting onionized now. Yes, we can harvest onion maybe by July. Yeah. These are all rounding up. Look at that. Yep, hope I get some big onions. Oh, this one even looks like a real onion already. Okay. And in the corner here, I stuck some winter squash. I dropped two more in here. I have to transplant them. And in that box over there, I have two more in a corner. Yeah, and this bed is filling up nicely. My potatoes are coming up. And I did stick some um, turnips in here too. And I have these little unknown peas that I plant all over the place. Yeah, and this pumpkin is taking off now. And uh, two days ago, I just dug this little area and planted another set of succession corn and a watermelon right at the end. Yeah, and my string beans start to blossom oh look at this i'm getting blossom everywhere well this is from the first set and that bunch over there was from the first set these in the middle here are the replacement yep this was one of my onion bed but mr and mrs squirrel come in and dug out all of this area I put pepper, I put Irish spring soap. They just kick the Irish spring soda soap aside and continue with their business. Anyway, I'm having issues with my peppers. These are sweet pepper. I was doing some research and it gave me so many different reasons why it could happen. I don't know which one to look forward to. What should I do? Whether I should put calcium or it's a disease or what? I don't know. Anyway, uh, beetroot like here. This was covered with beetroot still between the onions. All of those are gone. So I want to get a pot and make another small raised bed and transplant all of these to it. Some of the onions are doing well that they didn't dig out. 
but we don't come back and plumage to these. Yeah, and these are my purple runner beans. They're starting to blossom. First time planting these. Lots of blossom coming up. Yeah, but something is happening to the leaves. I don't know what happened. They start to look weird and dried up on the end. The same thing was happening to the string bean too. The other string bean. Yes, and I have some more winter squash here. I have about six or eight total winter squash. You can keep stocking them here and there. Okay, now by the time those mature, the other stuff will die back. This pumpkin tree is not doing so well. It's making a lot of blossom. It make having a lot of female, but they're dying because they're not getting um, germinated, um, pollinated. Yes, one on this end. I hope this one become more successful. Already last about three or four from this. This is my loot so far, and I don't harvest this bed yet. And these are my turnip. But look, they're covered with leaf uppers. And I'm doing this for the leaf, but they're destroying the leaves. Look. Oh. I don't know what I should put on this. I don't know if the diatomation earth will get rid of them. I'm going to put some on it later. Still don't find out what this plant is yet. And this, let me see if this is a broccoli. God. Uh, this looks like a broccoli. I'm going to take, see this is covered up and I have a lot of onions in here. So I'm going to cut away a lot of these leaves and open it because I have onion and beetroot under there. This is how this bed looks now. It's all open up. I don't forget a cabbage tree was in here. So it will get some sunlight. Look how small it is compared to that one over there. Okay, it wasn't getting any sunlight. And uh, have a lot of onions in here too. This one is becoming a mama. There's a lot in here of onions everywhere. These are like in between the turnips. And look at this, my first pepper. That's a banana pepper. And there's some smaller ones, but that's the first mature one. You have to cut away all of these broccoli leaves. You can see all the peas over here, it was covering up have onions underneath it and carrots I think I might move this big leaves to cut right on top of the carrots look it's covering up all of those carrots hopefully the cabbage will still continue growing with the, so much leaves missing Finally, gonna be getting some pumpkin that's holding now. This one is looking bigger and shiny. No yellowing. And there's another one over here. So I think so far I have two that is gonna hold. I have some more under here. There's one, there's another one. Some already fell off. There's another one. But at one point I thought this tree was going to be a zucchini because it was just round. It wasn't going anywhere but finally it started to send off some branches. It was, it was sitting there and producing a lot of blossom, lots of pumpkin. This is my peace tree. The peace tree is loaded. 
Yeah, some of these can already pick already. I was waiting for to get have a, a lot so I can make a good harvest at one time. But it looks like some of them is getting too old. And plus the birds keep landing on it. I don't know what they're eating, if it's the peas or the blossom. But they keep coming in here and breaking all the top branches. I just come in here the other day and cut off a lot. I don't know why he's dying back. Maybe I should come in here and pick some of these beans. Some of them getting too old. And look at this box. This is the last box I made. And the cucumber start growing up on the trellis. Oh, I'm having blossom on the cucumber. Wow. I discovered some this earlier. And the other cucumber plant in the box. And they're still so short. This one is going to be getting hot pretty soon. Yeah, this is another mistake bed. I transplanted some beets over here. And I planted uh, these three zucchini in here. And look, they're covering up everything. I have those onions from the guard, the kitchen. The last set I transplanted. They're fresh and doing well in here. They all survive. But, see this one not getting any sun? So they're not getting any sun because they cover up like, there's a big one here. Yep. That's me. Don't think before. I thought this was a cabbage. I put it in here, but it turned out not to be a cabbage. Looks like it's another broccoli. I'm just going to leave it in here and see what comes of it. Hey, this is that bed I make from the big yellow bag. And I plant all the rest of my sweet potato slips in here. And then the, all the peas I harvest last year, the red kidney beans, I just plant everything in here. And they start to germinate. They're coming up. I soak them before I plant them. So it's like two days and they're up already. Yeah. yeah and all the potato coming up good. It's nice one cup. And the potato itself, I stuck them in here. That's where these little ones coming from. This and that. And there's another one over there. Hey, these are my peppers in the pot. Start getting blossom on them. I think this, I don't know if it's a sweet pepper or not. Yeah, this one was a long red sweet pepper. I planted it and it died. I just left it and then this came up off the stalk. Yeah, and this cilantro is going to seed. Just gonna let it go. And this is a kale going to seed as well. The corns are coming slowly but surely. I was expecting them to be bigger by now, but I thought this was a cucumber when I planted it here. It turned out to be another zucchini. So I'm having so much zucchini all over the place. I have some volunteer tomatoes coming there. I'm just leaving these. These are the sweet potato I transplanted a couple of weeks ago. They're taking off now. This one even have a started one. And I make this planter with an IKEA box. And I lined it with some other Amazon boxes and this is filling out tomatoes doing well there are some little tiny black beans I found in the kitchen after my tenants move and I also find some little orange color one and they're there I have these all over the place got the rest so much I just keep sticking them everywhere And these 
cucumber I just planted them recently and I realized this are a blossom cool these are some more sweet potatoes I planted in that sweet potato video yeah these are taking off and I I had two cocoa I was trying to grow them and my daughter said just take out the top and plant it they just cut off the top and plant it and forget it and then it, they just start to grow there's another one in there somewhere these potatoes are gonna be ready to harvest soon this is one of the potato from the potato skin my fava bean they give me a lot of blossom and I look at lots of tiny beans but I don't know if that's all they grow but the beans are not getting any bigger but I know these beans are huge beans. Oh, yes, one started to get big. I didn't even notice this. Yay. Yeah. Just two days ago, I harvested all of these um, Swiss shard. And look at the plant already. Wow. Look at that. Now have uh, parsley over there, I have some onions in there, another zucchini, I just saw the seed, I didn't transplant it, I have some more Swiss chard coming up in here, more tomato, potatoes, potatoes, these are supposed to be harvested like by July. Uh, this tree starts to look dingy already. I can't wait till my first potato harvest. These are between July and August because it's planted late in May. Yeah. Two zucchini came up on this so far and didn't get pollinated. Everything else is doing fine here. And my tomatoes are blossoming. Swiss chard is doing well. Malabar spinach taking forever to go plant the trellis. Yep. This have peas in it, potato, and a Malabar spinach. This so everything is doing fine. I'm proud of what's going on. But I just want to keep some of my zucchini, all of them, all the zucchini I have so far, they don't get pollinated and they just die back. It's another fava bean, some more parsley under here. Yeah, these peas are some black eyed peas to so go up on the trellis, I have to replace the trellis. Anyway, this is it from Melanie from Going My Own. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.